Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below. So welcome to today's video and today I am sharing with you my August devotional basket my august devotional basket i've got everything kind of laid out here <laughs> for me to share with you of what i'm going to do and as i say i've that is what i aim to do and i aim to just focus on this during the month of august sometimes i get through everything sometimes i don't so let's see so let me just share with you what I'm going to be doing and what Bibles I'm going to be using in August. So, as you already know, if you're somebody who watches me regularly, here is my sturdy King James Bible devotional Bible. This is what I use when I'm having my devotionals. I always kind of try and read in the um, King James Version. And I've got my trusty king james version that's what i use for my devos in the mornings and the other bibles the two other bibles i'm going to be using if i want to research and study and find out a bit more is the new inductive study bible i use this in um in july and it was really good really really fantastic the new inductive study bible this is really really good i'm going to be using that and then if i want to look up any keywords or study any words from verses that really minister to me i'm going to use my keyword study bible in the hebrew greek I've done a review on this Bible already and I will put the link in the description box below. And I really, really like this. It's um, It's got red letter. All the, de all the words of Jesus are written in red. And um, I've done a review on this, so I will put the link in the description box below. But this is a really good Bible, so I'm going to be using that. When I go on holiday, I will most probably just bring this one because I don't want my suitcase to be too heavy. And then on my in my U version, I will be using the different translations in the Bible app because um, I'm going to be taking these studies with me as well. So the next thing. So there are the Bibles. Um, as you already know, I do a study with some ladies and for this month, the month of August, we're going to be doing Facing the Giant of Fear. Facing the Giant of Fear. As I said, this is the 2nd of August that I'm recording this. So we're already on day two. And this is what it looks like if you would like to try out this um, morning devotional. It's Facing the Giant of Fear. And that's what it looks like if you want to have a go at doing it. OK, so that's what we're doing. And we've already started. Now, the books that I'm going to read, and because I'm flying this month for a short break, I've got ample time to read sitting in the airport and being on the plane. So for the month of August, I'm going to be reading Daughter of Rome by Tessa Afshar. Daughter of Rome by Tesha Afshar. I'm excited about getting that, uh, getting into this one, Daughter of Rome. And I'm also going to try and read this one. I've read it before and I'm going to read it again. Um, and it's Cling by Kim Cash Tate. Cling. And it's Choosing a Lifestyle of Intimacy with God. And it's based on the word cling. You can see that I've got all my little markers in there. And it's all highlighted and written in from where I read it before. The last time I read this book was maybe about four years ago. 
when my sis made Denise her channel, Daughter of Increase, she spoke a lot about this book and how it ministered to her. So I decided to get it and I read it about four years ago and I'm going to read it again. Because you know how you grow and mature in life and you're in a completely different place. You've grown to where you were four or five years ago. So it's always a good idea to go back and read some of these crucial books. So this is going to be, I'm really looking forward to reading this and to apply the principles to my life now, to my life now. Okay, you all know this one. If a verse sticks out to me or ministers to me, I'm going to write it in my 365 book. OK, so I'm going to be using that. And then these two are leftovers. I'm carrying on the theme of prayer for the month of August. And I'm going to be continuing these Bible studies, a Bible study on prayer that I got off of the Internet. And I'm going to be also looking at this study of understanding the eight prayer watches. I'm going to be looking at that as well. So. That is what I'm doing for the month of August. You let me know what you're doing for the month of August. If you're doing any of these books or you've read them or you've done studies on prayer, let me know and let me know how you found these books and these materials. OK, so God bless you and I will see you in my next video. God bless. Yeah.